Hi, everybody. This is a Relax and Paint with Donna DeMary, and we're going to do kind of like a window scene with, um, I like doing windows and doors, and so I thought you might like to do a scene that's just kind of fun, but what we need to do is kind of pencil in first. Now, the colors I'm using today are cobalt, some uh, autumn leaf, some classic green, lime green, and daffodil yellow. You know, we might pick up um, a few colors here and there, but I've got this grayscale pad. And in this pad, um, it's by Stretch for Stretchmore, and it has got a white tone in here. It starts with white and then goes to grays and all through here, all the way to black. And you'll see me using these. But this is a great project to put right on a canvas also. So I'm trying to be quiet not to wake up everybody here, but I, um, I just want you to see that you can sketch out a fun little design. And what I'm doing is a window. So I want you to do it very light and I'm gonna do it heavier so you can see. Okay, so there is the top of the window. I'm gonna come down and decide it's, it's just um, an old world um, stone wall. Okay, so right up here is the keystone, and the keystone's like like this, and the keystone holds the whole uh, all the stone up around this window. Okay, and so we're gonna come out here. And so to get this watercolor effect, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going to sketch along and, and just get a look that we like, okay? So I'm gonna come along here. We're just really free handing, really light. So, and these are gonna be different stones, so they're not going to be perfect. Okay, I kind of want this one to come here and this one to come over here. Okay, all right. Now I'm gonna divide this in the middle. Okay, and then we're gonna come down here somewhere in here and come across. And then I'm gonna, this is the center where the window would open way back then. They used to open these up. All right, so then I'm gonna come here with at least another one here and another one here, okay? And then this panel down here is, can be wood or something down here. It's a closed panel. So back then they would open these up. Oops, so this needs to be matching over here. So see, we wanna come there. And I tell you to lightly sketch it and with watercolor, they kind of leave the pencil. Now this is a little bit wider than the other side. So I'm gonna just come in a little bit more and just take a white eraser. This is these very inexpensive mechanical pencils. And they got number two lead and they have a white eraser. And I just like to have them handy. All right, so this wall is gonna come off right here. And this is down to the walk. And then let's go down here. Now what's good about paper, you can get any kind of frame and frame these. And I'm gonna come along here and I'm not going to, I'm gonna take it off to nowhere, okay? So sitting here, I wanna do a pretty tree here. So I just put the, st the stem, main stem in the tree and it's sitting in a pot. Okay. And then right under here, I'm gonna do another container. And it's gonna come around like this. So it's rounded. This is more straight. You see this? And then I'll do something, something in here also 
All right, and I think up front here, this is going at an angle slightly, but up front here, I'm gonna make some tall um, grass. All right, so this is a corner here. But what I do with the corner is I might come this way and then go off to nothing that way, okay? So see how this comes up? All right. Now, the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna just get a teeny bit of medium gray. Let's see, let's get some gray. I thought I had some here, yeah. But these are all multi-surface paints. They're really wonderful. They've got a, a full body. It's exactly what I need. But if I want to use medium to make it look lighter, and I'm using my brushes, I've got, um, I do have a script liner, some other brushes, but this is a three quarter inch brush. All right, so now, so we're just going to have a window with some pots. Let's see what this turns into. All right, so I'm going to, get some gray first. So lots of medium, I picked up lots of medium, come over here, just let's get some gray and maybe a tinge of blue in it. Okay, but I want it more gray, so I'm trying to work that in. Okay, so I'm gonna come right here. All right, and come this way. You can erase some of the pencil later if you want. Okay, now instead of water, we're using the medium because it's given us this cool effect. It kind of looks like it's watercolor, but it's not really. All right, so then I'm going to come along here, kind of pulling. I'm going to keep going over. If you notice, I keep going over and I'm picking up. I touch this line and I pull down. So you can see the colors all on the left side. This is gonna be behind a bunch of the trees, so it doesn't have to be perfect. All right. And then a little bit more medium. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep the blue on the left side. See how I did it here? Because that just means the light's coming that way. Pull down. See this this fat this paper will really absorb it. There we go. Now some of this along here, we can just put a straight line and I'm gonna go out here some and just put some little lines here. So see how it looks like a little bit of a little bit of blocks maybe out here, but not exact. So you just wanted to have a little bit of an illusion. And then we come across here. This is the corner over here. So see, you're just getting an illusion, but we are not making it like major exact. Okay. Let's come over here and get some more gray blue. All right. Come right in here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take the water and make that go away a little bit. It's going to be okay because over here will be a tree that's going up here. All right, so we're just going to come in here a little bit.
All right, so it just kind of looks like a wall over here. And we might bring in a few other colors in here. But what I'm going to do along here. Come up here. And then come right along here. And we have gray along here. So isn't it looking like a corner there? We're starting to get a, a look that, that you can recognize here, right? Now what I want to do all in here when I'm, I want to make this just kind of go away over here. I don't want to, we're going to have some blue around the pots, but I don't want it to be exact over here. I'm just going to just, Make it just stop like that, okay. This is going to be darker over here. And we'll go back to some gray. It was right here. Right here along there. See, this is a little bit of the step down. You've got to try to be loose and not be exact about it. And that might be hard for some of you because I don't mind being loose, <laughs> but some people go, I can't do that. I'm used to things being exact. Well, we're not going to do that. Okay. So now I took a little bit of gray along there and I'm going to Watch this. I'm going to go up on the chisel and then chisels right there. And I'm going to come down on here, down on here. Okay, so we'll get some more. And I want to really come on both sides of here. I really need more medium. So we want a gray. It's going to come down here on this side and over here on this side. And that's the style in between the two doors. All right. And then to make this go better, we're going to come across here. And across here. Oops. Let's see. That's heavy now. I'm going to try to take some of that away. One here. I'll try to move some of this because I don't like that heavy gray. So I take water or some medium. I've got lots of uh, lots of blue in that medium. So let me put some more in here. See, we can make, take a little bit of that off. All right. And then up here, we're going to have another divider in here, another divider in here. Okay, now I am going to take touches of this Pueblo, Pueblo or Autumn Leaf will give us the same kind of feel. All right, so we're going to come along in here with medium. This is just like a fun effect, but this is great to do. Like if you want to do little cards, five by sevens and put them in little frames, people love to purchase just a touch of, of the things that you do, or it's a great gift to give to somebody. These little teeny cards done up. Okay, so I'm going to come in with a little bit of gray. You can see in here where I remember I did the pencil line there for the raised panel here. All right, so see, it gives you that illusion without doing it perfect. And then also a teeny bit of yellow. Okay, now I'm going to take all that off. And then I'm going to grab the medium and just use touches of this. Really more medium. And I'm going to put a few 
a few touches. Just little bits here and there. Okay, just to give it some character. All right, now I'm going to come over here with a little bit of this Pueblo. And we'll take a little bit of medium to fill that in. So the same thing's happening over here. So you're going to be surprised when you see how fun this ends up being when you're all done, because we're just getting a few looks that will give us character. And then, all right, so, um, but you know what? I can come right here and do a little bit of this over here. Okay. Right, so I wouldn't want that much streak in there, so you make sure you get it really thin before you go. So now I'm going to get down to my 12. That was my 16 all that time. So here's my 12, and I'm going to come right in here, and I'm going to pull down. And come right in here. I'm going to come down in here. And come right in here again. And then we just come down a little bit here. That's making me happy. Some medium. Okay, so see, that's not going to be the focal point. I can come back in here and do a little bit more intense here. The focal points going to be some of the greenery we put in here. Okay, well, I feel like at watercolor, everything's kind of loose. It's not exact. Okay. So I have this tree, and the tree was right along here. Kind of goes up there a little bit higher. Okay, so I'm going to take, I can have medium on here, but I'm going to get the classic and the lime. Let's see, so I can put some blue, get a darker green. All right, so we're going to come here. And I'm going to go to the top. So this has lots of medium in it. So it's, it's uh, getting a little blurry. All right, so and a little bit more medium. We'll put some blues down in here. Okay, so, so I've got that tree in there, but we're gonna come and put some more down hanging out of that. Um, but I wanna come back in here now and let's use some of that medium with yellow and citrus green. 
Okay, so we're going to come in here with the corner of the brush and we're going to get both those colors. All right, so we get a little bit of medium yellow and, so, and lime green. So I'm just slip slapping the corners, slip slap, slip slap. Okay, the daffodil yellow, lime green. Okay. All right, so see this? It almost looks like a Christmas tree, but we're going to do other things to make it not look like that, okay? So I'm going to come down here. Bring some gray across. I'm going to pick up some blues with a corner. It just looks like a little... I'm covering that pencil mark, too. It's looking like a little bit of a, a blue, blue flowers or something coming out of the corner there. All right. And you can make a little brighter looking. Bright yellow. And we'll just come on down here. All right. Now I can add a little bit of white if we need it, because sometimes that white might give us more. This is multi-surface paint. It's got a sealer in it. You can paint this on something to go outside or inside. On glass, metal, ceramic. Okay. All right, so then this, um, we'll just do a, a pretty bush in here. But one of the things I like to do is sometimes come up with some little tall grass in there. Over here, I can bring some blue. All right, so I can come with some little white. Just a little bit. And I can bring some yellow in here. All right, a little bit of white in this blue over here. Okay, you haven't fun yet. It's, it should be kind of relaxing just to watch it kind of happen. All right. And then over on this right side, I'm gonna do some tall grass. And say it's in a container over here. And this is closer to us. So I'm gonna take medium and right here, okay. Now, one thing that really helps, I kind of fun? 
what also helps is to come in here and bring these over. So remember I put the dark blue. It gives it a little bit darker. All right. We could take some bright yellow coming up. Okay. All righty. And we're going to sign this. Got a little bit of green there. So I want to sign over here. And we got some of the screen down here. So I can just take and go like this. And then I kind of set it. Okay, so what I want you to see is I can take a toothbrush. Isn't that kind of fun? Just a little, you can do a different kind of tree. I, I'm thinking because it was just Christmas, I'm seeing Christmas. All right, so I can take water, medium gray. And I can test it right here first. See if I want to like it. Okay. And I can take and age it a little bit on the edge here. There we go. I hope you like that. It's a quick little project. And with a few little pink colors. And I'm going to teach you on Friday that you use this plate and you make some greeting cards right with this paint still on your brush, all right, on your plate. All right. Enjoy. I'll see you next week. Be sure to catch me on Friday for some more practice strokes. Thank you so much. And please subscribe. We'd love to have you as a subscribed member. Thank you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.